Alright, so today I'm going to be unboxing Descent Legends of the Dark, and this has been a very controversial game ever since its announcement. And to be honest with you, I'm somewhere kind of neutral in this. I think both sides have valid points, and both sides have, you know, things that I believe that they're really right about. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm a gamer and I like experiences and since I've played games like Imperial Assault, Mansions of Madness, and Journeys of Middle Earth, I haven't really minded the app based stuff. Um, so far the art that I've seen, I have to see it, play it more, uh, keep in mind I've not played the previous one, but what I'm trying to say, I'm going to give it a fair sh shot and uh, after I have several plays of this game, uh, I will definitely do a follow up video and give an un unbiased, honest opinion of what I really think of it and what, it ex what, what I expected and what it actually was. So if you're interested, stick around and maybe later on in the uh, next week sometime, I'll be able to give you an update on whether or not I think it's worth it. Is it pricey? Yes, but a lot of things are pricey. I just bought Medara for $165 just this week. But we're going to go ahead and start with unboxing this uh, Descent Legends of the Dark Hybrid Centurion promo figure. Uh, before we go there, we have some, well, yeah, let's start with the dials. There's some nice little fancy acrylic tiles that were included with this. And I definitely want to take a look at it because I really, it really looked really sharp when I first saw it. So right here you see that life dials and it just moves around. So you see the side view, the way it shifts. Let's see if it stays still. Yeah, it stays still. So once you move it around, you're not going to have to worry about it wiggling out of the way. It's, it, it does a really good job and it, it looks neat. I like it. I really do. Uh, I Better than the, the cardboard ones. Like I have Marvel Champions and so many other... Uh, type of games like this where Gloomhaven they have like Gloomhaven have horrible dials but that's beside the point we're talking about the scent the acrylic ones were really nice however I don't think that you'll be able to get access to the acrylic ones if you didn't pre-order at, at least I pre-ordered this when it first was announced last year so uh, that was that and uh, well maybe though you'll be able to purchase it because it shows here, they, they might sell it at the Asthma Day store through Game Genics. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards that were included. I'm just going to place these dials back in its little baggie so that it stays nice and, and neat for me in the future when I finally get back to it. Or later today, as I'm fixing the box up, I'm going to actually take a look at it. So here are the cards that came with it. And uh, let's see, take a quick look at the cards. I won't, I won't go into great detail, but I will open them and take a look at what the cards look like. Okay, so here we have a Bloodwood Bowl. Mirror blades, double headed hammer, true aim crossbow, crooked, oh, crooked staff, glimmering wand, a shadow claw gauntlet, thorn tip knives, river watch spear. Iron Thorn War Bell, Weighted War Hammer, Warden's Blade. Oh, let me just drop this. It says exclusive weapon art. So basically, what what was given to me it was kind of neat. Uh, the card quality is very nice. If you've played, pretty much all of their their games have the same cardboard quality and it's pretty good it feels like uh like the one from imperial assault over here 
and uh, Journeys in Middle Earth just a little thicker. I mean, a little bigger than the ones from Journey of Middle Earth. They're very similar to the ones from Imperial Assault. Good quality. I like them. And since most likely I don't have to shuffle these, I won't be I won't be sleeving these because they're just like you just put them on your character and you don't really do much with it afterwards. Yeah, I'm moving on. We're gonna go with oh wait. There's a little thing that I want to mess the box up too badly. I didn't notice it. Kind of excited to be honest, just to check it out to see what it looks like. I think I just broke the box. I should get a knife, right? I'm gonna hurt myself here. I could tell this is my first unboxing. I should have gotten a knife. So here we go. Let's see what FOMO figure the Centurion hybrid Centurion looks like. Oh wow. That's much better than what I imagined. Let me see. Oh, it comes out nicely. Wow. Surprising. I, I was not expecting this. And take a look at that. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting this. Really light. I don't feel anything. Super, super light. Really light. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. That's my fault, but I try. Okay. Put this back in the box. That that was kind of surprising the detail was very like i just recently played uh um, opened up madara this week it just so happened that like, i ordered madara and it came and i i love the way the game box looks and everything the components are, are top notch and everything but uh the minis weren't that detailed this was much more detailed than that i would probably still give the edge to Etherfield is probably my favorite minis game so far. I mean, it looks really good. And it's very weighty. It's a lot of weight to it. I like Imperial Assault too. It was really good. I like that one as well. Let me go ahead and start taking the wrap out of this. This is a pretty deep box. What I really like, to be honest with you, just the idea of how the box was made apparently so that everything can fit inside the box. So let's just take a quick look at the sides of the box here. It has nice little art there. Very nice, colorful. And I'm just going to take the top out and bring the top down so you could see it. I don't want to show what's in there yet. So that's the top right there for you guys if you're interested in seeing it. What it looks like. <laughs> my son makes me laugh. He brought my dice tray. But right now I don't need it. He thought I was going to play. There's no way that I'm going to play. I'm probably going to spend several, several hours putting this together. So let's see they gave us here they gave us a learn to play their their learn to plays are always really well done from marvel champions to journeys in middle earth and uh, very well done a lore guide oh pretty cool i guess if you want to find out a little bit more about the world and the characters oh wow all right cool so this is how how you build the different props that go with the game. Oh, that's where the dial here, but it already came pre-built for me. This must be the, the wooden ones. I mean, the cardboard ones. Realms of Terranoth. This is my first... My first Descent game. So I never played the first, and I never played the second one. So I have heard of Terranoth, but I don't know anything about it. 
It's going to be the first time for me. So let's move on and bring my box over here. Get this nice and neat on this side over here. It looks ugly there. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead here and let me start with the minis, the small ones, the small figures. Because I just saw a figure here that looks pretty. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of minis here. I, I might not, well, very detailed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just like take the shiny cover out just so you guys could see what it looks like because you know, these, these figures are very, very nicely done. I don't want to take it out yet. I could just, there's like some sort of wolf there in the corner. Yeah, I mean, the, I would say that detail-wise, this kind of blows Madara a little bit out of the water. Madara was a little bit like, like it's still, I, I like them. I don't have a problem with them personally, but the detail wasn't there like as it is with this game. So it kind of blows Madara out of the water. If I'm going to compare those two games, I have nothing to do with one another other than being... Dungeon Crawlers. Oh, let's see. Oh, there are, there are our, our heroes. Really nice. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to come into this game with an open mind. I don't know what to expect for, from it. I'm not hating it off the bat. I'm going to give it a fair shot. But I will, I will be brutally honest. If it's not good, I'll say it. But I have a feeling that if it's just similar enough to like Lord of the Rings, I might like it. Hey, this is the same. What's the difference between the figure? This one's not built. What's the difference? Let's take a look at it again. What is the difference? There's some, oh, it's a different color different color got some sort of like sun drop I don't know if that's sun drop it's not sun drop but it's definitely like shading going on in there Just another quick look so you can kind of get a little side by side oh there it goes it fell down that's what happens you could tell especially by the rocks very nice uh, since I have this promo one, I might just, I might just keep this one as like a, a little statue somewhere maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And then, oh wow, that was unexpected. Um, here are the tiles, and I'm guessing all the the chits that are included with it, and I'm probably guessing the props that I'm going to build. I'm not going to open this right now. Oh, that's going to be fun. But yeah, it's really thick. It's pretty thick. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of them. 13 boards that we have to cut out. And uh, they gave me 59 by 91 sleeves from Game Genic. I'm guessing for some cards that you're going to need to see both front and back, I, I'm guessing. And uh, some plastic tokens. I think these might be the tokens that are used to be able to distinguish which bad guys are which. Color-coded, because in Lord of the Rings at least, uh, the way that you could tell the bad guys apart is they'll, they'll have like different flags with different colors and different symbols on there. I think this might actually be better than that, kind of by a lot, but we'll see when I play the game myself. Um, then here we go with their dice. They kind of look similar to the dice. Oh, they're 
there's an eight-sided die. There's some eight-sided die in here. What, maybe ten-sided die? I don't know. I can't tell. A uh, twelve-sided die, too. That's pretty neat. Um, this reminds me a little bit of, of Imperial Assault over here. We'll see what that works. I don't see any numbers on there, so it's all going to be about symbols. Um, and then we have... There's not many... Am I missing something? Oh, there's a few more. I was about to say there's not many cards, but there's not a lot of cards. I've seen... I've seen games that have had way, way, way more cards than this. Rallying Cry, Taunt, brace, Bracing Presence, I'm here for you, Reprieve, Whirlwind, Inspiring Fighter, Coordination, Destiny's Call, Passing Illness, Greater Purpose, Encourage, Reassurance, Improved Methodology, Zealous Fire, Disguise, Fury, Sleight of Hand, Distraction, Underhanded, Out of the Shadows, Hidden Blade, Shared Pain, Cold Snap, Pursuit of Knowledge, Phoenix Cry, Bound in Battle, Helpful Companion, Invoke Lightning, Bloodwood Sap, Prowess, Black Root Toxin, Root Toxin, Confer, Quick Draw, Flourish, Last Mercy, Try This, Fixed It, I Got This, Let's Do That Again, True Forged, Improvised Concoction, Hmm, That's Funny, I Wonder What, I'm Curious, Alchemy Going On In This Game, uh, Unstable Elements, Cautious, slowed, tired, frustrated, frantic, hesitant, hardened skin, heavy heart, heavy hands, uh, cauterization, and uh, player reference cards. Always helpful. Very helpful. I like it when, when game company publishers give you... Madara did, Madara did it too. Some, several games do it, but some games just give you like the back of the rule book where you could see the player reference. I like it when they give you like a little card with all that reference information on top of that because it's just easier to access, quicker to go through if you have a quick question or you're not sure about something. I, I love having a card there. I'm a family guy, so you might hear some noise in the background. That's all right. Here we have some armors. We have Dusk Plate, Plate of the Bloodstone, Dawnwalker Plate, Memoriam, Sky Keepers, Wayfarer's Leather, Storming Mail, Undertaker's Coat, Slayer Leather, Stalwart Mail, Sieging Doubtlet, Noble Attire, Sinister Robe. Well, these actually look pretty cool. Seven button vest, as opposed to eight button vest. <laughs> Imperceptible cape. Hmm. I'm gonna be disappearing, I guess. Uh, robe of camaraderie. To write uh, Terrainer tunic. Okay. Did I read that right? Don't care. Cloak of sorrow. Rabbit foot potion. Hmm. Another one. Another one. Another one. Vigor, Miasma, Antidote, Fire Grenade, Focus Potion, Warrior's Breath, mm. Mage Dust, Rogue Sweat, mm. Smoke Bomb, Crimson Potion, Guardian Potion, Endurance, Mud Potion. All right. Interesting. 
I'm going to be honest right now, having just unboxed Madara recently, the cards that I read as I was sleeving the, the cards, I thought that they were very, they were kind of funny and also very interesting. Uh, these are less so, kind of just straightforward. I, I like that Madaro is kind of just having fun with this game. If that makes sense. Mutation potion. Invisibility potion. Phoenix Ash potion. Slayer potion. Bloodthirsty bracers. Brew basket. Horn of courage. Lucky Charm, like the cereal when I was a kid. Shadow Bracers, Stormbound Pendant, Dead Man's Compass. I like that, if you notice, there's like a, a skeleton hand pointing the direction. Your orientation. Uh, undying Skull, as opposed to Living Skull. Uh, <laughs> War Ruin, Rune, I'm sorry. Mana Weave. Iron Bound Rune, Wanderer's Stone. Oh, here's, here's some weapons. Let's take a look at this. Warden's Blade. Hey, I, that was one of the, I wonder what's the difference between this one and the, the cards that were given to me. I have to make a little comparison of that, I wonder. Wing Blade, Diamond Blade, Ancestral Blade, Weighted Hammer, Avenging Hammer, Marshall's Hammer, Iron Thorn War Bell, Gilded War Bell, Shrieking War Bell, River Watch, Spear, Lunar Spear, Sunforge Spear, Thorn Tip Knives, Barbed Knives, Shattered Cut Knives. Let's put this in this little pile here. We have Shadow Claw Gauntlet, Faint Gauntlet, Destructor Gauntlet, Glimmering Wand. Oak Root Wand, Star Touched Wand, Crooked Staff. Hey, I remember that one too. I really wonder what's the difference. I'm very curious. Crystalline Staff, Evergreen Staff, True Aim Crossbow, Dual Power Crossbow, Elf Weave Crossbow, Double Headed Hammer, Hooked Hammer, Spiked Hammer, Mirror Blades. Sears Blades, Whispering Blades, Bloodwood Bowl, Black Root Bowl, Witch Hazel Bowl, Iron Storm, Ice Storm, Iron Storm, Lightning Strike, Ruin of Blades. So that was, those were all the cards, I believe so. There's something else in there. But as far as cards go, I pretty much just showed you everything that's there. Once again, not very inspired. Kind of been there, done that territory for me. Like, once, I don't mean to compare because I don't like comparing games that are different, but as a dungeon crawler, Madara had enjoyed, like, it was fun to look at the, the cards, if you know what I mean. I was just looking and reading them, and it was putting a smile on my face sometimes. It was just neat. They were doing a lot of modern things in that game. It, it was cool the way they did it. This one was less so, a little more boring maybe, you can even see. So here comes the character cards. This is my first time knowing anything about this game, especially the characters. So we have Bryn, this dude, is that a dude? I don't even know. Might be a chick, I don't know. I think it's a female. All right, we have Barracks. We have Chance. We have Cyrus. Kelly. Oh, she's kind of, she's kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Galadin, he as well is kind of ugly. Oh, and they're double-sided, but I'm going to just show you the other side since we're there, since we're here, right? I just flip the other side and just show you 
the other sides. And finally, behind the character cards, there's some terrain cards, it seems like. Lava and like spikes, like looks like Mortal Kombat spike pits. Oh, there's the back. Let's see, water and like rocky, glowy terrain. It's weird. I might have to sleeve these though. Definitely sleeve these. I might not have to sleeve the other cards, but this one seems like these seem like they couldn't warp or something with time. So I'll probably sleeve these. I didn't use I didn't use the sleeves for the character cards from Madara. I might use it for this one, however. We'll see. If I like the game enough see what happens so let's take a look at what else is inside the box there's nothing as the same insert that fantasy flight always does but there's another box within a box box section oh let's look at the back of the box just if you want to see the art there you go. That's that. And I think I already showed the inside of the art, but just in case. There you go. And then we have a nice little light brick wall. So I guess you could place all the props that you build in there, which is pretty cool. I always use these cardboard pieces right here. Whenever I have to make inserts, I might not do it here because it looks like this holds it in place. So I'll keep it as is. And I just want to take a look in the back to see how many cards are in here. I did not see that. Uh, let's see right here. It says exploring. Here we go. If you want to look at the components, there you are. I mean, I've seen a lot more cards than this. This isn't that bad at all. Uh, not many cards at all whatsoever. And this is, lets you know about the digital companion app that's required in order to play this. It lets you know it's, it takes three or four hours per game. Youch, youch, youch. Uh, for one through four players, co-op. I like that because I'm a solo board gaming knight. And, um... Interactive, uh, interact with 3D terrain on every map. That's kind of fun. I'm, I'm actually going to make a video of me just building them, to be honest with you. I'm just going to build them and I'm going to make a video of that. It might be boring, but someone might be interested in what that might look like. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. And there's the Legend Begins, if anybody's interested in reading that. There you go. So that's what the back of the box looks like. And that's it for me right now. I just unboxed Descent Legends of the Dark. I will be letting you guys know honestly my true honest opinions. If it stinks, I'll let you know it's a stinker. And if it's good, I'll let you know it's better than what I expected. But time will tell. The app didn't come out yet. That comes out Friday. That's why I'm going to make some videos on me making this. Uh, the terrain. I'm actually excited to do that. I'm interested. I wonder if I need glue. I guess I'll find out in another video. Anyway, I'm solo. <laughs> I'm the solo board gaming night. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you have a great gaming night. Take care.